Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now we are going to see the title of Textual and Content Based Anti Phishing a Bayesian Approach. Here, nowadays, the phishing is a most important and most vulnerable process in a web. For that, we have to avoid the phishing issues in a network. For that, the phishing and violence are seriously distributed. The orders of web causes a serious adversary effect. This feature selection is the only key for key factor that influences the development of a web harmful information detection system. Yeah, here we are going to propose a novel framework recognition recognition harmful web pages in describing in this paper. Here the Bayesian classification algorithm is used for HTML under script tag. Here we are going to divide the HTML pages into two types of taxes. One is the HTML tax and another one is the script tag. These are the two tags present basically in HTML pages. Based on this we have to perform a classification in both HTML tags and script tags we find the phishing web page or not. Using this HTML we parse the present tag in the web page retrieved and for the scripting we have generated a simple comparison detection scheme for finding whether the page is phishing page or not. Let me see the data flow of the process. First of all, a client and server communications happen in the process. For that, a server has been started first. After that, a client has been requested a page and the server it will be retrieved from the page. Before retrieving the page, it has been passing it. It was checking the page whether it has a malicious page or not. For that, we have to separate the retrieved web pages into two types of files one is the html tag files and another one is the script tag files based on this html tag files and script tag files we have to find the type of the page whether it is a malicious page or a normal page and then the page is able to the another page for avoiding the attackers finding the whether the given page is requested from the particular user for that we have to convert the embedded page embedding into the trans pack simple packets based on the bandwidth we are going to use. Then the packet will be transferred to the retrieve page. Before the packet is will be transferred to the retrieving page, checking whether the page is phishing or not. If it is phishing means then we are going to find the abnormal things in the pages. Further we are going to show the phishing pages retrieved in a particular server or not. Here we are going to see the demo of the process. First we have to start the input select.java first. Click run file and then this is our main window. Here we are going to find the web pages or not. For this first we have going first of all we are getting the file list of files in a databases. This is the list of files in a database. There is a 16 files in databases and then click any one page like this the data will be showed here after getting the data we have to analyzing the data whether page whether it is a malicious page or not for that just click show button it shows the web page of the particular chosen one this is our page we selected and close it and then click extract button for verifying the pages and malicious page error. As I said in the data flow process we have to separate the HTML tag as well as the script tag. Then click extract button here it shows the HTML tags as present in the page and it shows the what are all the attributes present in the particular web page and click then click script data it is the scripting tags what are the scripting tags present in the web pages after that getting these two after that separating these two then we have going to analyze the page whether it is a malicious page or not for that we have go for that we have to click the analysis button here there are two types of analysis are going are in taken first we have to analyze the HTML tag and we are going to pass the HTML tags. 
then click analyze button the tokens are separated successfully here the token separation is nothing but we have to just eliminate the open and close angle braces and then we have find the what are all the attributes and what are all the terms present in the particular tag for that we have to spreading this and then going we are going to parsing the tokens here after the spreading the tokens we have to pass the each token for finding whether the given attribute or same or not in this in this we check if the frame tag is in a particular format or not if it is not present means then it will be tell the error report in show parsing the parsing is also used to find the specific tag because there are the there are so many tags are present in uh, html pages like href div tag td tag like that the the div tag and td tag is not a malicious tag so because it contains only the format of the particular web page then other than that the object tag hi a tag i frame tag and script tags and meta tags these are the tags which has been which have been malicious or not for that we have to split out the object tag and script tag and malicious tag or then after passing that we have to separate those tags for the what all the object tags present in there what are all the iframe tags present in there and what are all the script tags present in there and what are all the meta tags present in that we have to passing that and then click the detection here here we are going to pass the each and every tags present in a web page first we have all click malicious here the data will be shown checking for the malicious tag these are all the href tag the malicious is nothing but we are going to check whether the html a href tag has the malicious link or not if it is malicious link means then malicious link will be shown here here the malicious link is available the malicious links are this is the malicious link which contains the bad link for another page here after that getting the malicious pages we have to we are going to analyze the object tag here then the object tag is format is this here the object tag contains start with class id or value or something like data or something like that here that value is displayed after this then object tag has then id and height and width here this is not a malicious object and then click the meta tag here the meta tag has to check whether the given meta tag is malicious or not this is for each and every tag present in the web pages you are going to the result will be shown after checking whether this is malicious or not here the no meta tag is malicious and check for i iframe tags there is a no iframe tags that only doesn't null and going to after that we are going to retrieve the page from the net then click get result here the result shows the whether the malicious page or the malicious contents is available on the page or not yes it is true because one malicious links are available in the page this is the malicious link available in the page that's why the result shows that the malicious content in the page is true and object has the malicious content no false and meta tag has the malicious content no and iframe tag has the malicious content no then click the page type here the malicious page is restricted to v because of its malicious page this will this message will be shown if it is not means then it will be retrieved from the net then click open page we are now we are not going to open the page because of there is a restrict to view for the secure decision because the malicious content is available in the web page this is our whole process for avoiding the malicious users present in the web page or in web data content thanks for watching this video